Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to talk about my Cartier fuck off desk clocks. And uh, I've loved these fuckers for years. And, uh, you know, it's one of these things. <clears throat> in the uh, the 90s, I, uh, I went into the Cartier boutique in uh, Surface Paradise, Gold Coast. And I remember seeing these most beautiful clocks and they were fucking expensive. Uh, dear fuckers. And uh, I remember I I, I, uh, I picked up one and fuck did it have a weight to it. And then I just knew I had to get a fucking couple of these. And uh, you know, they're just great little fuckers. And uh, you know, the, the sad thing is now is that Cartier has released a cheaper version of their desk clock you know i like the fuck off pricing that cartier had that that really you know it kept it kept the hoi polloi out of the uh the brand but uh yeah it's a bit sad these ones here they're all fuck off cartiers and uh they were expensive fuckers my uh personal line clock was a uh, a smidgen over $3,000 in the early 90s. I mean, these were fucking expensive things. And, uh, that you know, they, they were a proper prestige brand. And this is the whole thing. You start diluting the brand by making it accessible to common people and you fuck up the values of the brand. The, uh, you know, half the reason why I wanted these fuckers so much was that they were so fucking expensive, no bastard could afford them. And, uh, you know, now, now I've got a, a collection of them. I've, um, I've got uh, six of them. I've only photographed five because one of them's actually getting a repair done. But, uh, yeah, they're just really cool fuckers. And uh, I love them. I love them. You know, they're just cool shit. And, uh, you know, in my, my study at my, uh, my holiday home, what I hope to do is, is have one, have a whole row of the fuckers with the international time set. I'll have one for, um, one for Gold Coast. I'll have one for uh, New York. London, Paris, you know, just shit like that. I think they'd look really fucking cool. And uh, they're just cool clocks. I love them. I love them. And uh, they're a Cartier product that came out when Cartier introduced lifestyle products in the early 70s. And uh, the thing I loved about them was that Cartier had fuck off pricing. If you can't afford it, fuck off. And uh, it's a bit of a shame now that Cartier's brought the the prices of the new ones down the new ones are nowhere near as solid they're nowhere near as fuck offish you know you know what i mean and um yeah that's just that's just how it goes but uh you know they're just cool clocks i love them and uh you know i'm i'm a bit i'm a bit 80s in my way many of the things i i uh, hoard possess uh you know collect you know they they're kind of they're kind of a um you know, they're, they're an acquired taste, but I've tried to get examples which were perfect. One thing about these Cartier clocks is you really want the best ones you can get. There's no point getting scruffy ones. And, uh, you know, any type of collectible, uh, you get shit ones in poor condition you get really minty minty fuckers and uh yeah yeah i i really love the the minty ones that i've got i'm archie luxury tell me what you think of my fuck off cartier desk clocks <laughs>